Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to set up a contract in our local. So first I am searching a contract in a Google. So I am selecting the Apache Tomcat server. From Apache website I am opening the Apache website here. Uh, so if you go here, you will have the binaries. If you want the source, you will have the source distribution here. So I am downloading the zip file, uh, zip file, uh, or 64 bit zip. So make sure if you are using 32 bit, uh, uh, download 32 bit version of your Tomcat, or if you are downloading, if you are using 64 bit uh, Windows machine, then you download the Windows uh, 64 bit. So if you are using any other uh, uh, Linux version, uh, Linux uh, or Mac, any other uh, OS uh, than Windows, you can download the zip file directly. So I'm downloading the uh, 64-bit uh, thing, so which will not refer to whether it's a Windows or uh, Mac or uh, Linux or Linux. That will not defer your uh, uh, defer your uh, setup. So this is the same process in all the operating systems. So now, yeah, I have downloaded and extracted the Tomcat in, uh, uh, in the local folder. So, uh, yeah, so before you downloading, make sure which version of uh, uh, which version of Tomcat you want to download and which Java version you have. So, uh, so if you if you have Java JIP installed already in your machine, then you need at least 8.5 to support. So, if you type right for 8.0, uh, from some of the Open JDK will not support or uh, 6 Tomcat 6 Tomcat 7 will not run. So make sure the Java what you are using will support the Tomcat version. So if you want here, you will if you want to uh, check the uh, uh, versions uh, or which version is suitable. So it will mention you on the page. Welcome to yeah, yeah. So see this provides a list of Java and Tomcat software. Uh, actually, and if you go to the which version you need, then you will have change log there and it will mention the details here. So please make sure before you install the Tomcat what version you are trying for. And yeah, once it is installed, so oh, sorry, not once it will download, the extract the uh, zip file. After extracting, go to the bin. So uh, before starting the server, we need to start the Tomcat as a Java home. Uh, before starting your uh, Tomcat, so just an example I'm showing this. So if you don't set the Java home and if you're trying to start, so if you're if you're trying this in Windows, use the startup.bat file. If you're doing in Linux, then use it's Linux or Mac or uh, Unix, you can use shell. So as it is a Windows, I'm using the bat file here. Uh, just open the bat file. So now if you see that neither Java home or Java diary home is not set. So yeah, if you want to run a Tomcat, uh, which are running, uh, which you are installed, which you are downloaded and you are set up in a uh, Tomcat using the folder, uh, it's not an EXE, and if you don't download the download of Tomcat as an EXE, uh, then you need to set the Java home. If you download your EXE file, uh, EXE file, executable files here, executable file, it will ask you for uh, to set up the Java home before you Java home or Jari home before you uh, installation complete. So there is a difference. So now, uh, now once this is uh, extracted and uh, first you need to set up the environmental variables. So go to the environmental variables, open. So in environmental variables, you will have two sections. So one is the user desired defined and the system variable. So if you use user defined, that will work only for this user. If you use a, a, a system defined variable, then it will work for all the users who are using this machine. So currently I'm using it in the, uh, my machine on my uh, user ID, java underscore home, java underscore home. Or you can use uh, jre underscore home as well, so which, which works for you. So if you have JDK, use the java home, if you have only jre, then use uh, uh, then use uh, uh, JRE. JR. So that will be in the C drive, program files, uh, Java, JDK. This is the Java home. 
so this is the java home I'm, I'm, i have a jre as well so i'm selecting the uh, selecting the jdk path not the uh, jre so you should not mention the ping here so uh, i mean tomcat will look for the home path slash bin so that is the reason why you should not mention the pin here okay or click okay okay and uh, one more important point that if you when, whenever you set any environment variables please close the terminal uh, or command prompt and try it in try it in new command prompt so because unless until you want a new terminal or new command prompt it won't show any differences so still you see the same issue so now i will i have closed and open a new uh, uh command prompt now i'm trying startup dot bat now see it started uh from the server we are starting server here there you go server startup in 4000 4700 ml so yeah even you try this http look http sorry eight thousand eight sorry eight eighty eighty to launch the tomcat okay so this is a, a basic uh, thing how that we can uh, install a tomcat even we can install tomcat by as I mentioned earlier, we can download Tomcat by clicking the exe folder that works only for Windows. So if you want to do it from the Unix online edition, that will be what we have tried now, which should be work. Okay, so I have created a separate video to change the ports uh, and the heat memory in the jar Tomcat. So please go through for more details. Thanks for listening this one.